What's up guys, I'm Dave Klein. Today we're going to talk about what lies in the bottom of the deep well within Majula, the heaping mass composed of multiple undead clumped together. It's time to talk about the rotten. You've seen that gaping hole here? Well, there's nasty little vermin down there. Although who you seek is even further below. And has been down there for a very, very long time. He's plum rotten by now. I'm sure. <laughs> the rotten resides at the bottom of the well in Majula, along with everything unwanted. All manner of terrible things have been cast into the gutter in Majula, forming a settlement of filth and chaos. That gaping hole? Hell, search me. It's where the people around here toss all their rubbish. Corpses, or you know what. Or whatever they'd rather be rid of. However, not all corpses tossed within were dead, as several undead seemed to try and climb out of the gutter. They built up rickety paths and makeshift living quarters as they tried to escape, only to slowly become hollow. Deeper within, beyond the poisonous black gulch, lies one mass and entity, eternally crying and creating figures to the point of obsession, the Rotten. The Rotten becomes startled as the cursed undead enters its domain, and irritated as this causes it to mess up in creating another one of its figures. The being is comprised of multiple undead strapped and melded together, and the Rotten embraces all in his sanctuary, for all things unwanted are tossed away. It has embraced these tossed away undead in order to become one complete being, and yet it resembles a similar figure from Dark Souls 1, that of Nito. While Nito is comprised of multiple skeletons linked together in order to create one whole, the Rotten is comprised of multiple undead linked together in creating a whole. Upon killing the Rotten in New Game Plus, players will receive the Old Dead One Soul, Soul of the Ineffable. This once magnificent soul continues to exert influence over the land, even after the eons have reduced it to these remnants. The Old Dead One, a clear homage to Nito, indicates that at some point the Rotten acquired Nito's great soul reborn, and likely began fusing with other undead at this point. And yet, there seems to be one undead in particular who controls the entity of the Rotten. If you watch the undead on top of the Rotten's left shoulder, you'll notice something peculiar. This undead telegraphs all of the Rotten's attacks as the Rotten performs them. It would seem the undead on the shoulder is actually controlling the Rotten, and perhaps the undead who obtained the Old Dead One's soul. But who was this undead before it existed as the Rotten? I believe there are a number of clues that link Pharos the Vagabond to this mutated being. So, who is Pharos? According to the various Pharos Lockstones players can obtain throughout the game, the Lockstones are stones activating the creation of Pharos the Vagabond. Pharos the Vagabond was a legend who wandered the lands, creating contraptions that helped those in sincere and dire need. The scope of his travels was so wide that the Pharos has been mistakenly credited with many inventions that were crafted by others. On top of the Lockstones, there's an entire portion of the game referred to as the Doors of Pharos. This area is packed with Pharos contraptions, and upon completing it, the Cursed Undead will run into the Rat King. Knowest thee of the Lockstones, those odd contraptions fashioned by human hand long ago. Thou art human, and thence able. I know thy kind, base plotters and schemers all. Put these contraptions to thy employ against thy foe. The Rat King has a cardinal knowledge of the Pharos Lockstones and their uses, and for every victory within the Rat Covenant, you'll receive yet another Lockstone. It seems Pharos and the Rat Covenant is intrinsically connected, and I think it likely Pharos was a part of this covenant. But we can find the Rat Covenant in another location, one much closer to the Rotten, the Grave of Saints. The Grave of Saints is located just above the gutter, and also houses several Pharos contraptions, all useful for the Rat Covenant. So what does this all have to do with the Rotten? I believe it likely Pharos delved even deeper into the pit. On entering the Black Gulch, the first bonfire players will find is referred to as the Black Gulch Mouth. And taking a look at the wall here, you'll notice that there are holes placed which resemble a mouth, and I believe are what give this bonfire the name. 
Placing this side by side with the Pharos contraption, you can see they resemble one another. Within the Rotten Sanctuary, there lies a single Pharos lockstone players can obtain by cutting off the arm of the Rotten, linking the Rotten to Pharos. But while this all seems to establish a link to the Rotten, it could all be coincidental, as Pharos lockstones can be found all over Drangleic. To cement the connection, I think we need to look at the statues the Rotten has been building. These statues can be found throughout the Rotten Sanctuary, all over the Black Gulch, sparingly in the gutter, and they even bleed out into Majula. But, there lies one other area they can be found. The Doors of Pharos. Which I believe further cements the relationship between the Rotten and Pharos. But there are some questions that remain. Oh, uh, and, and those human statues? Who are they supposed to be? Anybody I suppose. Probably just some old pagan costume. Who do you think the human statue is supposed to represent, and what has led Pharos and the Rotten into an obsession with creating them? And furthermore, do you think this is linked to why the Rotten can be heard moaning outside of his boss chamber? Alright guys, that wraps up this Dark Souls 2 lore video on the Rotten. Do you agree with me the Rotten is Pharos, or do you think it's likely someone else? And who do you think the statue represents? For lore on more bosses, make sure to check out my other Dark Souls 2 lore videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.